and salutations my friends my name is Samantha and today I'm going to ruin my books <laughs> literally everywhere on bookstagram you see these gorgeous amazing beautiful covers that have sprayed edges so the edge of the book is either gold red some type of really pretty design and I just I'm jealous okay so I thought why not create some of my own sprayed edges I'm not a crafty person let me say that for one I am not a crafty person and two I'm also extremely lazy I don't want to go to Michaels I don't want to buy all of these supplies I'm using everything that I have from home so this is more so me just messing around and doing a little <laughs> vlog not like an actual instructive video of how to do this technique. I will link some videos down below that I've watched. That's Jessica from Peace Love Books. She did an amazing job. She did like these gold sprayed edges which were just stunning. And then Olivia from Olivia Reads a Latte. She also did a video. I'll link them down below if you guys are interested in how to like professionally do this but for right now we're just gonna mess around what kind of inspired this entire video is when I was at the bookstore I picked up a Kerrigan Byrne book this is the Duke with the Dragon Tattoo Kerrigan Byrne is one of my favorite authors of all time I just I adore her and when I came home I realized I had two copies of this book I knew I had this book but the copy that I had was in really poor condition like the face was ripped off and it was super bent spine just not good condition so i was like you know what i already have two of these books why not why not try and paint them i have never seen anyone do this on a historical romance everyone does them with hardcovers probably because the tape really messes up the paper so that makes me really nervous but we're gonna try it and i thought that was a good one to start off with because if i mess it up I literally bought the book for like a dollar and I already have another copy so yeah I thought this would look really pretty in bright red you know that's what we're gonna do and I have a Lisa Kleypas I want to do which makes me really nervous because Lisa Kleypas is everything to me I love her books I am very proud of the collection that I have for Lisa Kleypas so I didn't want to mess up any of these books and I have this same book in mass market paperback so I'm like okay it's not that big of a deal okay so I know you need like a weight or a clamp thing I found this clamp thing in the garage I I, I have no idea what this is um, apparently you can like use it to to clamp things if that doesn't work because I'm dumb I will use a weight I have like a 10 pound weight that obviously I've never used because I don't work out my sister had it in her room and I stole it from her and then I have my paints. So I have red, pink, purple, yellow. I have a tons of colors. I really hope these are fine. We'll see. I didn't want to go to Michael's. We're in quarantine, guys. And then everyone says that these sponges are the best sponges and not to use an actual brush. So I have sponges and I have brushes if I need to get in the corners to do detailing. Those are all the supplies. Thankfully, I had like most of these things in the house. The kids do tons of crafts. So I just like dug into their paint box and we're going to see how it goes so I already started and it's a mess you know I, I just I regret it but we're going with it we're gonna start with the historical romance the Duke with the dragon tattoo and I'm sitting in a really messy area so don't mind that it's the kids school area so they have like all their school stuff laying around um so not aesthetically pleasing but it was the best place to do this because there's already paint on the table and we can just like wipe it off so anyways I'm ranting let's go ahead and roll to the footage of me fucking up these books okay let's do this okay hi sam from the future coming in trying to explain how i'm doing this so first you need to tape up your book so you don't ruin the covers and i'm struggling with the tape because i was dumb and forgot to grab scissors so there we go i eventually got it and we're just gonna tape up the corners of the book so that we don't ruin the cover um this is probably the most important part and it is the most difficult part because you don't want to rip the pages but here we go that's what it looks like and then i put this weight on there to really smush the pages together to get a nice clean opaque color now I'm painting and you can see that I was really nervous and did just like a splotch of paint and yeah so now we're just painting the book and seeing how it goes and this is the moment where I realized I messed everything up and I was questioning my entire existence but I just kept painting just keep painting just keep painting and we moved on to the second book the Lisa Kleypas book I did have to eventually switch from a sponge to a brush to get the corners but yeah we just kept painting guys Oh, 
it is a couple hours later and we are done i let them dry i was slowly like pulling apart all of the papers so they weren't stuck together because when you have the weight and the paint the pages get stuck together so you have to individually tear the pages apart tear that's such a horrible word we're not tearing the pages but like slowly pull each page apart and you have to go page by page that actually took the longest time and i got a paper cut but it was worth it. I only did two books because it was time consuming and I really didn't want to ruin any of my other books. So um, this is what the Kerrigan Burn, the Duke with the Dragon Tattoo book looks like just on its own by itself with no sprayed edges. And then this is what it looks like with the sprayed edges. I decided to do red. I actually didn't rip this right here. This was how I bought it. It had a huge sticker when I bought it and the sticker ripped the page so this was not of my doing and yeah so this is what it looks like all of the red edges I'll kind of get you guys close so hopefully you can see that when you pull apart the pages you do get like these little white fuzzies um, which makes it look less opaque but honestly from like far away it, it doesn't look that bad like if you're reading it far away and you're drunk um, you, you might you might think it looks good anyways all of the pages were pulled apart pretty seamlessly none of them stuck together and that's what it looks like so I really do love it like I wish more historical romances had this sprayed edge um, to them because they're just so so pretty and then I did the Lisa Kleypas one now honestly this one probably would have looked good with any color like yellow purple but I decided to do pink and that's what it looks like and this one I'm actually really proud of like it looks so stinking pretty i really hope you guys can see i haven't pulled uh this one apart yet like some of the pages are still stuck together which is probably why it looks so good because it doesn't have those fuzzies but yeah that's what this one looks like and for both of them i used the weights and i only waited like a couple hours for them to dry no um my only recommendation and really you shouldn't take any of my advice because i'm horrible at this is to use the sponge for like the majority of the pages but use a small detail brush for the corners because the corners are really like where I messed up and if you open the page I did get some like paint right on the corners inside of the book but really I don't care like nobody's gonna be opening the book and looking at it that closely so yeah this is my sprayed edges attempt um I had a lot of fun it was just something fun to do for today nothing too serious and I have both of these books in different copies so if I mess them up oh well and yeah let me know if you guys are gonna try the sprayed edges technique be careful be careful take your time make sure to tape the book up so you don't get the cover and use masking tape not masking tape like painters tape like the green frog tape you know what I'm talking about okay I feel like I'm ranting I'm so hungry I'm so tired <sighs> Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend time with me. It means the world to me. I hope you guys are all staying happy and healthy. If you guys decide to do sprayed edges, tag me on Instagram. Let me know. Show me your pictures. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!